what you do what you do right now. What are the five principles of customer service? Go. Um, well, for dealing in a challenging conversation. Sure. Well, the first one is you have to listen for understanding. Okay. Listen. Okay. All right. Do you understand that? I'm trying. I'm also kind of distracted by the chat, but keep going. Okay. And then when you're speaking, mm -hmm. you have to speak from the heart. Speak from the heart. Okay. So, no. Maybe we need to, to to role play this a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'll be the the the. Uh, I don't know who who should I be. I'll I'll be the I'll be the the person that's doing customer service. You you be the uh, angry customer. Let's see how this goes. Ooh ooh! I don't get to play the bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You 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 play the bad girl. Like we're gonna practice uh, listening and uh, what was the other thing? Well, you only we only listed two. Yeah, no. Listen for understanding. Okay. Yeah. Speak from the heart. Do speak from the heart. Three? Okay. So listen, understand, and speak from the heart. Okay. Do so, you want the other three okay, or no? Okay. Um, I, I thought we maybe we'd take on the first two and then okay, you know, like like you, you can't swallow the whole cookie in one bite. All right, you gotta. Okay, so, so there's a missed child on the school bus. All right. Or so... or maybe the child is not on the school bus, and that's the problem. I'm at the bus okay. stop, well, well, and you didn't way, bring my kid. I've lost her child. Okay, and go. <laughs> Pull up at the stop. Hit the button. Got to make sure the stop arm comes out, and then make sure that all the traffic is also stopping, and then report anyone to the cops because I have a lot on my plate. Oh, and there's also a hundred other kids yelling at me and screaming at me. Quiet, you guys. Sit down. Sit down right now. Or I'm gonna don't make me come back there. You'll never get the best effect again. Oh, hello there, Johnny's mom. How are you? I'd be a lot better if Johnny were here. Where's Johnny? Well, I mean, Johnny, get back there. Uh, he's he's not coming up. Let me on this bus. I'll find him. I, I, actually, I, I cannot let you on this bus because what do you uh, mean? there's then well, there's, get up out there's out your insurance. Go find my son. Then get up out of your seat and go find, my, a, then seat and go find my son. Well, uh, there's uh, there's there's go a lot of, there's a lot of rules. Um, Did you pick my okay. son up? Well, did you he, know what? That's... Did he enter the bus? Okay, well, well, why are you coming bus? after me? I'm just a school did bus driver. I'm not. A, I'm not. I, I'm only responsible for getting from point A to point well, B. Well, you just okay? called in the back seat like you thought he was on the bus. No, Where is no, he? no, no. Okay, because you don't understand. Pause. Aren't one of us supposed to be de-escalating the situation? Uh. Perhaps you need to be the curmudgeon, and I can be the de-escalator. Okay. Oh, or do you want to good. use some of the principles to de-escalate the situation? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll try and implement. Uh, you said carefully listen to understand and speak from the heart. Correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, Johnny's mom, you um, you're mad at me because you think that I'm responsible for your child getting onto the bus and now also consequently getting off of the bus. Is that correct? I need you to tell me if he is on the bus. Well, obviously, Johnny has not come forward on the bus, and so if you really thought about it for any second longer, you would know that Johnny is clearly not on the bus or he's asleep. Well, can you double-check if he is back there asleep? Leap somewhere? Hey, Frank! I'm not allowed to leave my seat! Can you go and check if Johnny's off the bus? Frank's not moving, and I'm not allowed to get off my seat. How are you supposed to take care of the kids if you can't get off of your seat? I don't understand. Well, that's all government regulations and also the school bus bus driving rules, so... So, let me ask you this question. Okay, go ahead. If my son is not on the bus, what am I supposed to do? Well, you could probably do the right thing and call the school instead of blaming the guy that's just the, the taxi driver. That's 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 all I do. I'm not responsible for getting the kids on the bus and off the bus. Don't, I, I don't, you a a don't do. you have a radio? Don't you have a radio? Don't you have a radio? Aren't you capable to call somebody and actually but be it, responsible for your own child? Isn't I'm not the boss of your child. I'm just the draft. bus driver. 20 minutes later. This you is not I'm working. dealing with 50 kids. You are very terrible at trying to de-escalate the situation, sir.
Just I, I just well, you said to speak from the heart. That was you speaking so. from your heart. Yeah. Where's the concern for my missing child? Well, they're probably at school still. Okay. Are yeah. there grown ups at school? Is there I someone? I would hope so. The sure... principals aren't supposed to leave the school until everyone's off the buses. All right, but the buses left. Correct. <laughs> Correct. So. So, is it possible so, he's sitting there all by himself? Maybe he was oh, hiding under a oh, tree or something, that, or in the bathroom. Who knows? I don't know where he is. Your child oh, could be maybe alone. Somebody's so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Take it in! Oh my that, gosh, I don't know what has happened! You should probably call the cops and assume the worst. See, look at She That's was quiet. Thing I think... Say. What? what? A terrible I, thing to say. <laughs> Oh, okay, know. number three. Okay, okay number three. You must, All right, here we go. You must suspend certainty. So suspending certainty means okay. that you don't want to jump con to conclusions. Okay. And leave so. room for different ideas. Actually, that's number four. Hold space for all the differences. Okay, so repeat that in different words. Both of them. Suspend certainty. Meaning? Don't jump to conclusions. Or okay. assume you know the answer that's going to come out of someone else's mouth. Okay. So... And holding space for the difference means you have to allow someone to finish so that you can absorb the difference of opinion. Suspend certainty. So that's okay. not jumping to conclusions. Okay. And hold space for the differences. Okay, so, um, practicing. Okay, so I'm not going to assume that you're a terrible mom that didn't call the school first before you blame me about Johnny. Or that you didn't turn on your phone to find out the school called you 15 times, letting you know that Johnny's there. Okay. Um, uh, I'm sitting here you... with my phone, and I asked you if my son was on the bus or why he's not getting off, and you didn't say anything. And this is not my fault that he did not get on the bus. This is Johnny's fault that he didn't get on the bus. I ah, just wanted ah, to know, ah, was ah, he on the bus? Ah, okay. All right. So you and I, we have now come to a, um, uh, a thing where we're, we're both recognizing that this is Johnny. So we, we, we've sorted through the differences and... Uh, but you are not helping money. me solve the problem. And you want to know what number five is over the five things? I sure. mean, honestly, do you want to know? Do you want yeah, to know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, what's the five? Okay, okay. It is slow down the conversation. Okay. Um, well, I got a bunch of other kids to drop off on my bus. So good luck finding Johnny. Uh -huh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Because Irate always wants us to end these segments with like... A question. All right, chat. What is your favorite? Uh, or wait, wait, wait. I did this wrong. Uh, okay, comment with your favorite technique of how to deal with customer service issues. That are not related to missing children. I don't know if that line should make the cut. <laughs> So, right. what's the weirdest customer service issue you've come across? We'd like to hear. And go. Hey there. So what you just watched was a portion of our live show that happens on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Apparently, you were too lazy to be there that time, but maybe you'll be there next time. Remember, Wednesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern.